Hey, yo. Don't drop that soap, nigga. Somebody mess around and do something strange to your booty hole. Y'all, Snade Almighty, aka the Global Dog Skin Ambassador. Subject of this story don't drop that goddamn soap, man. Here's how to take a shower in Rikers Island without being sus or having something sus happen to you. It goes a little something like this. Now, here's a couple things to pay attention to, okay? Make sure you got slippers. Because you do not want to put your bare foot on that floor. It's a whole bunch of dirty dudes, dirty Brooklyn niggas. I'm joking, I'm joking. Shout out my Brooklyn niggas, you know what I'm saying? But it's a whole bunch of dirty dudes, man. You don't know what they doing in there. They could be beating their knee, all that, you know what I'm saying? It might be the right female officer on talk. And a guy wait till he get in the shower, man. He might just like listening to her voice and he could just be listening to her talk regular. You know what I'm saying? In the CO booth and he being his meat and all that. You do not want to walk in there, right? And you don't have slippers on your feet and you step in somebody's semen. You do not want to do that. Trust me. And when I say trust me, not because it happened to me, but it happened to somebody I know. Right? So look. Uh, along with that too is slippers, not socks. Not socks, okay? Not socks. Slippers. Get your little slippers from commissary. Or um, you can have one of your loved ones bring you a better kind of pair of slippers. Uh, preferably the slides. Any kind of slides, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you if you a day room dummy, you don't want to get real, real good slippers. Because then somebody will take them from you. And because you soft, you won't do nothing about it. But, uh. Me personally, what I did is, I always waited. I'm usually one of the first ones in there, right? But usually not. A lot of times I wait till the end when it's almost done. Reason being is because I'm not ever trying to go in there with any other men is in there. Period. Not trying to be in there when no other niggas is in there. I don't want to be around y'all. Y'all weird. Y'all weird. So I like it to be totally vacant because here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you're trying to go into the shower and there's more than one person in the shower, it's one of three things that could be going on, right? One, they smoking, which is the most common thing. In the case they get caught, you don't want to be there. Because if you're in there taking a shower while they smoking and it's a random search or the CL catches them, you're going down with them. And then also, you weird. We want to be... Washing your body, washing your nuts while people trying to smoke. What do you, what do you want to take a couple puffs? Like, what do you, like, it's, it's weird. It's very, very weird. You know what I'm saying? So, they are the smoking for one. For two, it could be some guy on guy action going on in there. You know what I'm saying? Always a possibility. Always a possibility. Or for three, which is the second most common thing going on, somebody is about to get smoked. Somebody is getting lined up to be jumped. This is where they caught a lot of dudes slipping. Oh, you don't want to be with it? <coughs> you don't want to give up the phone calls? You don't want to give up the commissary? All right, come fight me in the shower. And then the dude step in the shower. It's a dude pretending that he taking the, he about to take a shower. And then you end up getting jumped, putting the full Nelson, getting your boots spanked, right? Right? That's something that a lot of, a lot of rookies the rankers out in fall for. Because there's nobody to tell them the game. So they end up learning the hard way, right? Now, when you're going in there and it's time to take a shower, let's say, let's say you got to rush and for whatever reason, you got to take a shower with guys, right? Let's just say that. If you drop the soap, you could pick up the soap. I mean, I never was around dudes in most showers. I was mostly always by myself, so I've dropped the soap before, but I've been alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been alone, so 
So the risk of somebody trying something with my booty and then getting killed is like non-existent. You feel me? But I would assume that if you in the shower with dudes and you drop the soap, go ahead and pick the soap up, man. But don't bend over. Like uh like um like Diamond and Players Club <laughs> when she had the pink on. <laughs> And she dancing the R. Kelly song. Don't bend over like that, man. I would say, like, you know, drop down. Not, not like drop down, but I see it all sounds weird. You avoid these type of situations by just going in the shower by yourself. Just going there by yourself, man. Like it's it's really, really that simple. You know what I'm saying? And uh, also another thing. The last thing. And the most important thing, you don't ever go in there naked. You ain't never ever in there naked at all. Like you, you automatically a Skittles eater. If you go in there and you strip butt naked and take a shower. My whole time in Rikers Island, anybody going in there taking a shower, they have their boxers on. So you in there, you taking a shower, you washing your boxers at the same time. When you putting your hands in your bar of soap, right, inside your drawers, you know what I'm saying, to clean your nuts and clean your butthole and all of that, no man should ever even see your booty crack, you know what I'm saying, or your banana and apples. It should never happen. If it does happen, it's because you wanted them to see it and you are a Skittles eater. You is a Skittles eater. It's as simple as that, dog. It's as simple as that, you know what I'm saying? You should go in there when there's nobody in there, take your shower, clean your drawers at the same time because they on you, and then you remain wet. You dry off your legs a little bit so you're not dripping a bunch of water. Then you go in your cell. Then you put a sheet or a towel over your gate. And then you get naked, you wring your drawers out. Your drawers are already clean. If you use an Irish Spring soap like me, your drawers smelling real good. You know what I'm saying? You ring those out, and then you get dressed, and then you go on about your night. Peace.